Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna blind. I'm gonna definitely say. Anyway, hey, everybody. This is Sweet Hangout or Sweet Whatever. And I'm the goddess. And we're here for a third episode. And I think we'll kick it off with. I don't know. It's Black History Month, so let's kick it off with the free crack and meth pipes. That's definitely been on my mind. <laughs> I got people <laughs> in my family, you know, that struggle with that shit. So I don't understand how they're really going to do this. I don't even. We live somewhere that marijuana is not legal. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but somehow... The, the hardcore drug addicts in our area are going to get tools for what they need. But if I get caught with a joint, I'm still all messed up in the game. You uh, are. You are. It's too much. So I, I definitely in the comments want to see how everybody else feels about it. I thought it was a hoax when I first read it. I was like, there's no way this can be real. And the timing couldn't be more... It feels like a slap in the face, ultimately, to everybody. It's just, hey, F your pain, you know? No, it's not. How? It wasn't that it was a smack in the face. But you have to think about, like, first they said the, the pipes were not going into the drug kits. They're safe smoking kits. That's what they call them. They said they won't include crack pipes, but I feel like that's playing with words. And I feel, and it's, if I can remember, let me look at it. I'm not even going to look it up because I already did. It did <laughs> come out that, yeah, people are going to be getting these pipes for, it's called harmful reduction or something like that, where, you know, they're trying to make drugs less not kill, less harmful. harmful. I was going to say not kill people. Drugs are going to kill people. <laughs> like, <laughs> people OD, shit happens. But as far as the fentanyl, 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 is it fentanyl? Is that what it is? Is it fentanyl? Oh my gosh. I feel out of the loop and goofy. Come on, dog. You know what I'm talking about. The thing taking down everybody. I always say it wrong. Thank goodness I don't like know it well. It's fentanyl. Fentanyl? Fentanyl. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, and that took way too long. Hopefully, I might cut that down, but we'll see. <laughs> but because it, it made me sound crazy. But yeah, that stuff, man, that they're putting in everything, that's what they're trying to control. Because in so many ways, it seems like, and this might be conspiracy theories, but it seems like we're in some kind of silent war. And this could be, you know, weapons in a way. That, that's what some people have said. Tell me what you think about that. I'm not, I'm not totally sold on that. Dang, I'm sitting way too close. But I'm not totally sold on that. <laughs> you know, um, I think there could be some truth. But I also think, you know, it could just be bad batch. You know, getting everybody the bad stuff. Like, shit's getting stepped on crazy with all types of shit and things are happening because it's the street and the street's always wild like it just is and you know you're never gonna really know but i pray for everybody going through that like i said i know it well i do <clears throat> and i want to see people do better i want to see the cunt nah, i'm not gonna say i want to see the country get better i mean i do i definitely want to see the country get better but the country got a lot of shit to handle that's why I can't just say like, oh, it's a it's a little owie. No, it's like a, a potentially fatal wound we're going through <laughs> as a whole country. So I don't know what happens. I don't think anybody does. I think there's a lot of waves going on. I think a lot of people are catching them. Good and bad. And, you know, we all just got to wait around and see what's going to happen. Elon Musk said they're getting Elon Musk. It feels like they're fast tracking this Neuralink stuff. This is coming too fast. You say you're you not figure? getting one. Because he's talking about like, they didn't jump from, I remember pigs were doing it, to now they're jumping to humans soon. <coughs> I thought they already did one with a human. Maybe they did. I didn't really look into it. But, but it's happening too fast. But he acts like we have to use this to combat, like go back and forth with AI potentially. See, that's some old, 
I'm also Star Trek talk. Let's cut that out. <laughs> you, y'all let me know if y'all want more of that type of talk or if you're like, I'm cool, I'm cool on the conspiracy, all that. I used to I used to definitely be on some tinfoil hat shit. Now I'm I'm more on, hey, I gotta get me right. Cause that <laughs> That conspiracy theory shit, it doesn't really matter. It's like when you watch TV, you better just keep it at entertainment, you know? And worry about getting bread and, and, you know, really providing for the family in real life. Speaking of providing for the family, I'm going to pass it off to Goddess to speak about Nelly. (laughs) Okay. So, this week was full of sex tape. And the one that everyone was talking about, well, he already gave it away. It's Nelly. And they said he had a small penis. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to go online and look because, you know, I'm a girl. I, I want to look. So, but I went and I looked and I found the video and it wasn't huge it was it was actually average size and i was like oh i thought they were i thought by saying like his dick was small they um meant like he had a pinky sized penis or you know a a thumb sized penis or you know something like that but i think his i think his penis was average sized um I, I I don't I don't get it. So all you ladies that are uh, commenting saying he's got a shrimp sized penis, you know, comment on the video and tell me why you think that because I don't think that it was shrimp sized. It was regular sized. He has a regular sized penis. And maybe they expected an extra large penis because it was Nelly. But, I mean, every guy has to have at least one flaw, right? So... Well, that's not a flaw. I don't... I'm not saying that, like, him... (laughs) I'm not saying him having an average size penis. That's fucked up. You can't control that. What is this? Like, (laughs) I feel like women really do that. I'm like, damn. That's craziness. You cannot control... And people are going to say, why do you get so mad? (laughs) No, I'm (laughs) cool with it. I'm all right. But for, for, you know... And that's real. You're laughing hard. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I don't care. It is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm confident in me. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but for for just men as a whole, why do women feel like, yo, you got a small dick. It's like you, you're you unemployed and you don't do shit but sit on your mom's cat. Like that is a flaw. You don't do shit. You don't produce nothing. You don't make no money. You're stupid. <laughs> There's a bunch of other, like, real qualities versus the size of what I piss out of. That's crazy. Well, I know there is, but I'm just saying maybe they expected him to have a king size. They did. A uh, king size penis. And, they did. And because he didn't have I a saw size- I saw a fucking tweet and a girl said, Nelly's dick is smaller than his arm and i was like what the fuck and i can really get you like that's what women want <laughs> you expect men to pull their pants down and have a whole nother arm or something like that's unrealist like have y'all ever had sex before this is wild <laughs> that's crazy talk yeah i i would say that that is crazy but there are women out there that think that like if they think he should have had a king size penis, I mean, I figure that's probably what they're thinking, because maybe they like that. Like women like different size penises. There are even there's micro penis people out there who their their penis is like really, really dinky, and then there's average size penises which are five and a half, um, and then there's oversized well no average then regular sized and then no either way i'm just saying 
they expected him to have a larger penis than he had. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess. What'd you think about the baby brawl at the bowling alley? We both have, I think, I don't know if we share opinion on that or if it's different. Let's see. I don't know. Um, I mean, it, he definitely, he definitely did put his hands on the guy. Yeah. At first, when you had told me about it, you were saying he didn't. Because that was the angle everybody got was when you saw him slipping all over in the lanes of the actual bowling, slamming his head, doing all this other shit. And then you saw the baby walking through like baby Jesus, part waters or Moses. And he was trying to get up out of there. <laughs> and that, that was what I saw. So I'm like, damn, he's, you know, he's trying. And then I got more footage and more footage like everyone else did. And it, but I tell everybody, it didn't start at the bowling alley. No. She's for anyone that doesn't know, this is his, his baby mom's uh Danny Lay. Danny this Lee. this is Danny Lee, Danny Lay. Whatever. It his baby mom's. It was her brother who started online with the baby after her and the baby were going through problems. I don't know if anybody remembers. He kicked her, he was trying to kick her out or kicked her out. It was a big issue. And then her brother posted online, when I see you, it's a fade. Like any other brother really would. Like, you know, when I, when I see you, it's a head up fade. Yeah. So, and he saw him, it looks like. So that's why I said it didn't start there. It did not. And it, it but it ended there. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, he'll, he'll, he, he'll probably have to pay him. A little bit of money. You think so? Yeah. Nah, I think they're going to keep it straight. I think they're going to keep it under wraps. I think, not under wraps as far as everyone knows, but I don't think he's going to do all that. I think they'll work it out behind the scenes. It'll be fine. Family business. You know? I don't know. But I, I say, the reason I said, do we share the opinion? The baby wasn't wrong to me for a number of reasons. Number one, you don't run up on somebody like that. Like, anyone said when he has security around him their job is to do what they did you protect the money you could say whatever you want he hit him first hey i don't it's like hiring family members they gonna take your side and we'll worry about the rest of it later that's what's supposed to happen i pay you to be around me to make sure it's straight so number one why would you run up when you saw he had people i mean you just <laughs> you was looking for it and two Man, I don't know. I totally forgot, but go back to one. <laughs> Either way, he was wrong. <laughs> Shout out the baby. You gonna agree or disagree? Or? I mean, I said what I had to say. He had, he'll have to pay a little money and it'll be over. I really, we'll see about it. I mean, everybody's gonna see about it. As far as if you never hear about it again, you know what it is. If you're right, you know, I'll publicly <laughs> shout you out. <laughs> I'll be like, good luck. That was a good call. And shout out to Uncle Snoop. Life came full circle for Uncle Snoop Dog. Round of applause, round of applause. Because he got ownership of Death Row, the label that he started his career at. He basically started that label. We can all say that. Yes. <laughs> like, that. I think of Death Row, I think of Snoop, don't you? Mm -hmm. I think it's Snoop, then maybe Dre, then Tupac. Those are the guys. Then Dog Pound. After that, it gets fuzzy. I'm sorry. Shout out Danny Boy. I know. Mm -hmm. And and then after that, it gets fuzzy. I'm sorry. Because Danny Boy, man, he, he sung classic hits, and I be watching Danny Boy's interviews, and I should be crazy because he spills all the tea. He's just free now. He's like, this happened, and now I'm like, all oh, that shit crazy. <laughs> I don't know. What? Nothing. Oh my. <laughs> you got any other topic? Uh, blackfish. This is you. I don't know a lot about it. I know what blackfishing is, but why does this affect you so much? And how is it taking place? It's not that it affects me, but it affects me because I am a black woman. And 
for you to blackfish is not okay. Okay. Every look that she every give the okay. definition of blackfish, please, for people that don't know. Like when you're white, I I I forgot. Um, I I know the there's a girl that uh, created the word blackfish. Do you know who she is? I forgot her name. Maybe I'll insert it if I look it up or you look it up. Yeah. But um, it's basically changing your skin tone, making your skin tone look like, like you're appropriating black people. So making your skin tone look a certain complexion so that you are, although you're white, you're trying to make your skin appear darker and... Hold up, you mean like tanning? Yeah, some people will tan, some people will not. Some will just... Tanning is black picture. fishing? Yeah. Can't... Well... I don't know. <laughs> that sounds great. I grew up, you know, around... We're in I. You know, we're in Iowa. We're in Midwest. I grew up there, you know, around people tanning and shit. So you saying they were all black fishing? When they were trying to go on vacation and get a little color. That was the thing everybody used to say. Get a little color. Why or, do they, Why did they want to get a little color? I never looked into and it. And See? And if we looked into it, because, you know, we, they used to call us colored. Yeah. We're the colored. And they were trying to get a little color. Hmm, I mean, yeah. Thing. Yeah. But I, I never was really that offended. Well, I'm not saying that I'm offended by it. Because <laughs> there's tanning beds everywhere, so that's a lot to get offended by. Like, take all this shit out of here. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, she was she um, appears darker in her new pictures that were from Vogue. Um, which, another thing about Vogue, they did not acknowledge um, their writer or their editor who died. What was his name? I forgot. Oh, man. Let me look it up. I will not mess this up. You don't disrespect people like that. Hold on one minute. Takes me too long. I'll make it shorter for you guys. Less painful. Okay. And I hope I say this right. It was Andre Leon Talley or Talley. Um... And that's the best I can do on the name. I do apologize. But he recently, you know, um, passed away. He died at 73. Let's see. But he was a Vogue editor. Yeah. And he passed away. I'm just looking into it a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, he had a lot of accomplishments, all that stuff. Definitely meant a lot to the fashion world, it seems like. Yeah, and they put Kim Kardashian on the cover instead of him. And I don't think that that is appropriate. Not at all. I mean, in that way. Yeah, they should have, they should have put him, made him the cover of the month. And then, you know, talked a little about him and his accomplishments and all of that what he did throughout his life instead of the pages that they printed Kim Kardashian on and whatever article they did about her they could have done about him. But I heard that he has a he had a beef or something with one of the people there. Was it Anna Winter? It might have been. Somebody said somebody mentioned she's petty. So Yeah, it might have been her. Come on. Kanye's Kanye shouts her out a lot. I don't know what that means. I was just <laughs> I'm looking at I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm looking at the fact that the new Adele is weird. Somebody's gotta say it. I don't like I don't like the new Adele. I'm not into it. <laughs> I think she's she's for her fans. And whoever likes her, and that's not me. I've I've enjoyed her music, and I, and if some good music comes, I'll enjoy that. But as far as Adele the character, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, there's just too much weird stuff, and it's her living her life. She's super dope, you know, for what she's done. She's got all the money ever. 
So do what you want to do. She'll never she'll never care about my opinion, but that's that's my opinion in case you ever wanted it. I just I'm not digging Adele in any of her movement. Man. And shout out. We can do this ahead of time. We can do everybody doing the Super Bowl halftime. I think I'm excited. That's going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. We're over here trying to get the menu together for it. Wings is sold out. Where we at? I was like, I was thinking, I'll wait a little bit, but I'll get them. You know. He always does that. <laughs> I do that stupid shit. I'm going to have to edit that out. When the, the disease that's going around first started, <laughs> we, um, well, we were on the phone and I was in Walmart. I was saying, should I grab some Lysol? <laughs> And she's like, yeah, grab it. And I was worried about the little punk ass money. I'm like, and I literally said, I'll come back tomorrow. And and nothing was going to change tomorrow. I was, I don't know why I was trying to hold on to the $3. I don't know. <laughs> I just do stuff like that. Like I'll have plenty of money to buy whatever. And then I'll just be like, oh, I'll be here tomorrow. And I came back and then, you already know that story. That was not there tomorrow or the next day, or the next week, or the next month. So, yeah. It happened again. But let, let us know in the comments what you're planning to do for Super Bowl Sunday. You having big parties? You guys cooking? What's going on? If you're in somewhere warm, I'm jealous because we were just talking about if we could barbecue, that'd be amazing, but there's none of that going down over here. And who you got? I think I'm going with Cincinnati. Why not? Yay. But I don't care either way. Me neither. I'll go for the Not Rams really. if it get if they start just showing out. That's how much I don't care. Like in the middle of the game, I don't care. I'm not that invested. I do think everyone's saying they're gonna bet on is Snoop gonna smoke on stage or not? I'm gonna bet yes. Because that's just gonna cement his legendary status. It's already there, but lighting up in front of the literally the whole world. <laughs> can't argue with that and it's legal where he's at so why wouldn't he do it you know true uh what else what else what else prayers up excuse me back up prayers up for rue <laughs> i watched that episode i was getting nervous hands sweaty don't you hate it when that happens you get nervous and uncomfortable and fucked up by someone else doing something on a TV show. You're like, fuck, they got my stomach hurting and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> um, we are referring to HBO, uh, the show Euphoria. And he said prayers for Rue because, yeah, she ran away from home. Um, cause she was, she wanted drugs and, you know, Jules had told her mom and, you know, then her mom confronted her. She denied it. Then she admitted it and was like, where's my pills? Where's my pills? And that lady almost had her trapped in that house, you know, after she had gave her she had said something about selling your ass or something like that. She said that? Yeah, something like that. I was like just that. getting ready to ask you why she had her locked in. And then, uh, Damn. and then, you know, gave her a bath and gave her morphine. Yeah. You know, kind of. And she said she was going to make her pay for that stuff some kind of way. So, hmm. But that's dark. <laughs> like, and that's the thing about that show. And they said a lot of people feel like it's advertised to kids. But there is a darkness to it that is insane. Yeah. There's a darkness and a beauty because it, it looks good still, even though it's meant to look crummy in real life. Yeah. It's messed up that real life is always meant to look crummy. <laughs> Depending on your view. True. And shout out but not shout out at all to Bugsy the Don. <laughs> He's a rapper who used a picture of himself at the Trump Capitol riots. Now he's facing jail time. And I'm reading this offline. <laughs> but 
His real what? Let me see. Government legal. Blah, blah, blah. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to edit this whole part out. But yeah. So no shout out to Bugsy the Don. He's facing 21 months in prison for being one of 725 people identified and arrested at the riots. But he's getting more time than everybody because why? He's black. Nah, this is, <laughs> well, well, partly, because this is what we do. <coughs> but this nigga did his album cover at the riots, man, and used that. And they're like, what? So he went and promoted all that. He used him sitting there. Look. Him sitting there smoking a blunt at the riots. He used that as his album cover. That's so they get stupid. so they're like, yo, we're gonna punish you extra for being just ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. What a weird guy. And and I think look, it says the album was called The Capital. I'm out of here. <laughs> I think I'm good for the week. What about you? I'm good. All right. Well, appreciate you guys for checking us out. Try not to make you wait so long next time, but definitely hit the like, the subscribe button. If you haven't already, join the fam. Hit the comments. We appreciate y'all and we active in there. Got anything you want to? All right. Well, she's done. She's out. <laughs> y'all see her next week. Appreciate everybody. Much love. Enjoy the game. Go, everybody. <laughs> Peace.